Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This is another equilibrium problem, and we have this 65 kilogram student walking on a slack line. And they tell us that the line has a sag, as we see in the picture here, and at the point where the foot's touching the slack line right there, the rope has a tension in each direction. We wrote that with the T, vector T, both ways. And we need to figure out what the tension is. I like to start off by drawing a free body diagram. And in this case, we just have the tension right here and on the other side as well. And then of course this angles we just talked about is 20. And then in here, right there, we have the weight. So this is all of the forces acting on the student. And in the y direction, we'll only want the y component of the vector t. So that's going to be opposite to the angle for both sides. So we'll be using sine. And so when we sum the forces in the y direction, we have two t components, one for this side and one for this side. So it's two. And then the y component, as we just talked about, is t sine of 20. And then we'll minus from that, because this is going in the positive y direction, weight is going in the negative y direction. And it's in static equilibrium. So instead of having ma, the acceleration is zero. So this whole side goes to zero. We can add over weight to the other side. So we have t sine 20 is equal to weight. And then we want to isolate t, so we'll divide both sides by 2 sine of 20, 2 sine 20. And so t is finally equal to the weight, which we can substitute in mg, divided by 2 sine of 20. So the weight is going to be 65 kilograms. So we have 65 kgs times 9.8 meters per second squared. And so if you look at the units, we have kilograms times meters per second squared, which that is the expanded form of a Newton. So we have a force divided by a ratio here because we're just figuring out the total sum of the y component of this. So now we have two times the sine of 20. So we have 65 times 9.8, and then that will be divided by two times the sine of 20. So T is equal to 931, so 931 Newtons, and we could use just two significant figures, so 930 Newtons is the tension in the rope. 